Hey everybody, it's Andrew from Deutsche. Welcome back to our showroom in Charlotte, North Carolina for another episode of the Deutsche Download. Over the last few weeks and episodes, we've taken you through a couple of our different processes and equipment that we specialize in, ranging from extraction, winterization, post-processing, and even a little evaporation and distillation. So continuing with that downstream process trend, what we're gonna introduce today is the Deutsche Roto EVAP. The Deutsche Roto EVAP is designed for bulk solvent recovery via single stage distillation. And this process is based on the evaporation and condensation of solvents in an agitated, continuously stirred tank reactor. And behind me is our 200 liter model which has a recovery rate of around 50% of the volume inside the tank in about an hour. And it's designed to take solvent concentrations levels as low as 10% by weight when it's done. Now, this particular Roto EVAP is set to be used under vacuum or at atmospheric pressures with similar reclamation rates either way you choose. So the benefit of running it under a vacuum, it's gonna decrease the solvent evaporation temperature, as well as lower the residual solvent levels in the final concentration. The evaporator jacket is heated using low pressure steam provided by the boiler, and the temperature is controlled by the steam control valve and set and maintained using the Siemens PLC. Now, if we take a look inside the actual evaporator, we can see a couple of different things. So if we take a look inside the actual evaporator tank, we can see the rotor with the Teflon surface scraper blades, and this generates that agitated film and mixing required for efficient heat transfer and for preventing local buildup, overheating, fouling on that evaporator wall. Vapors generated in the evaporator exit through the vapor line and travel to the condenser. The entire evaporator is insulated using ceramic insulation and covered in sanitary stainless steel cladding. It means that these systems won't corrode, won't rust, and are super easy to clean. So a basic process narrative for this thing is going to look like this. We're going to move our micella into our actual evaporation kettle. And that oil solvent mixture is going to start to be heated by that low pressure steam jacket. Now that combined with the constant agitation of those Teflon wiper blades is going to start to create create a thin film on the inside of that tank. Now, once that solvent has reached its evaporation point, it's gonna move through the vapor nozzle and into our condensing unit. So the cold water that flows through here is gonna allow that solvent to recondense and go back into a liquid state leaving clean, reusable solvent on the back end. So once that process is finished, you're gonna be left with about 10% residual solvent in the micella. So from there, we'll take it in the exit port and move it downstream for further evap and distillation. Now, the process isn't done here, but if you're interested in learning what happens next, check out our YouTube video. We got the whole downstream process there for you to view. And if you're interested in anything else, give us a call. We're here to help. Cheers.